Hello everyone, I'm the Vel Velociraptor, and today I'm going to be breaking down the Jurassic World Evolution trailer. Now this is a park builder game similar to Zoo Tycoon or Jurassic Park Operation Genesis that's going to be releasing next year to go alongside Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom or the next Jurassic Park film. Let's get this trailer on the way. Now, straight off the bat, there is a lot of similarities between this and the film, which I th obviously is what it's trying to do. And this scene involving the T-Rex hatching from the egg is very similar to the... In fact, it's pretty much the exact same thing when as when the first time the audience sees the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World, where it hatches free from its egg and you can see its eye opening. Before I continue, I just gotta say how good this, the graphics in this game look. I mean, look at the T-Rex, it looks like something straight out of the films. Here's another confirmed dinosaur other than the T-Rex, that is the Parasaurolophus, which, is, which both were in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, obviously, people getting eaten are a staple of the Jurassic Park franchise. I mean, it's been in every single film. I mean, it is a film about dinosaurs, so what were we expecting? And, yeah, it looks to be no difference here with the T-Rex about to munch on this engineer and some Parasaurolophuses. Now, this feature is new to any Jurassic Park game, and it's still... A the ability to terraform the surroundings, and this is going to be pretty cool to make some really detailed looking parks. ACU now this ACU building is probably going to exact, uh, work the exact same way as the ranger station from Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, and in the way you can, can fly or control the helicopter and be able to shoot, tranquilize, or cure dinosaurs of any diseases. Now here's my favourite image of the entire trailer, and that's the overview of Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, pretty much the same thing. And here you can see a couple of things which are interesting, you can see some Apatosauruses, Stegosaurs, Triceratopses, and also some Brachiosauruses, so that's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six confirmed dinosaurs for the game. Most of which are, five of them are herbivores, one of them which is the carnivore. And you can also see a monorail here, which you should be able to build and allow visitors to transport themselves throughout the park and also my probably one of the coolest things you can see the gyrospheres from jurassic world next to there are some next to the apatosaurus and stegos trikes and also the brachiosauruses it's going to be one of the coolest things like the attractions and stuff it's probably going to be instead of the safari from jurassic park operation genesis something like that and yeah In the show, you can also see a ranger station or ACU building, and I literally just noticed this, but you may be able to see that water and also like a building next to it. That could possibly be a Mosasaur exhibit, probably not because there's no fences, but because there's a lot of water in this shot that could be hinting towards a um, aquatic exhibit and stuff like that. So, fingers crossed we're going to get something like Mosasaurs and Megalodons in this game. And with those words, the entire Jurassic Park community got hyped, including me. Alright, thank you, thanks for watching this video. I am, I have been the Vile Velociraptor, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.